Hi, I'm Grace Speroni, and welcome back to Conversations with the ERC5. Today I have with me the very multi-talented Daniel Ryder, owner of Ryder Media and publisher of the Longmeadow Neighbors. Daniel, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for having me, Grace. It's a pleasure. Always lots of fun when you're around, so I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> and I have to share with you, as I was leaving the office, getting ready to come here, my mailman was delivering, my mail person was delivering the mail, and look what was there. It's Longmeadow Neighbors. This was meant to be. Super it was, excited. That was excellent timing. And yes. also a great story, uh, new selectman in Longmeadow. So I'm really happy to tell the story. He's a great family and people love him. So I was happy to have those smiling faces on the cover. Yeah, you've always got great photos because you've got one right there as well of um, wonderful families that you feature and highlight. But before we go into that, tell us about Longmeadow Neighbors. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of the start of that. Um, so, you know, we try to highlight local families and residents. We put them on the cover. We tell their stories. And it's a lot of other local positive content. Um, great for the family, families, residents. We're trying to build community. And at the same time, we help businesses stay top of mind with residents in a real feel-good way. Mm -hmm. I enjoy them. And I, I love the stories that you put in there. How do you find these families? Because you feature a new family every month. Um, and it's like, oh, who's going to be on the cover? This is so exciting. How do you how do you select who's going to be on there? You know, it comes from a different, a couple different ways. Some people volunteer. We have a lot of people reach out to us that want to be featured, which is so fun. Um, sometimes neighbors will nominate someone they know. They're like, hey, they cool. would be a great story. Mm -hmm. And other times we've, we've, Ask people that were like, hey, we think you'd be so cool to feature. And yeah, sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no, but you know. <laughs> well, you know, when I first met you, I was in a different career path. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, wow, a magazine that's just so focused on one community. How does that work? And came into um, my new career in Chamber. And it was like, this is really great because you do like you focus in on Longmeadow. You share all the wonderful things of the community, the people, keeping businesses top of mind. Um, what a fantastic idea. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm glad you enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the idea is, you know, people receive this in the mail for free. Um, mm -hmm. We do send it out to homeowners in the area. And, you know, it's the idea is you receive it in the mail. And you're like, you either know the person on the cover, know of them, or if you don't know them, you want to read about those in your community. And it's all about Longmeadow and Longmeadow residents tend to love everything that promotes their own town. So this seems to fit, you know, very well within the community. And as far as I know, it tends to bring smile to people's faces. So I'm happy to provide that to people. That's why I enjoy it. And I feel like it lives longer it has a longer shelf life mm -hmm. so I get mine and it's like oh I look through it but then I put it down because something will come up and I'm like oh where's my long meadow neighbors I know I saw something in there so you hold on to it, it mm -hmm. it's not like you know sometimes you pick up publications and oh I've been through it and it goes you know by the side but this is something that you hold on to yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Um, that's kind of the way I look at it too. It's like it sits on the kitchen counter, it sits on the yeah. coffee table. Uh, people return back to it throughout the month at their leisure, like you were saying. Can kind of act as like a guide to the month, uh, guide to the month in a way. Mm -hmm. And also, it seems to have a lot of keepsake value as well. Uh, I get a lot of anecdotes of people, like maybe if a family member or a close friend was featured, and they'll they'll hold on to yeah. them. Yeah, I mean. I, I had a resident the other day saying like, I've had, I have every single one that you guys released. He's got like them <laughs> holding on to him. So hey, if it turns into a collector's items for people, that's, that's amazing. I have every one too. I hold on to them in the office. I'm oh. like, you never know when someone's going to walk through and I can say, Hey, look at, remember when you were on the cover and I can Love point that. it out to them. If you so want me to exciting. autograph them later, let me know. I'll okay. Do <laughs> I, I should have brought the whole collection and you could sign them all individually. Uh, yeah, yeah. Careful. I'll these are typing do hands. You don't want to put, put too much work on these. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I want to talk about, too? Sure. I mean, I think the magazine, hands down, I love it. I think that's great. You've got great energy. Oh, thank and you. we are so fortunate that you are one of our ambassadors. Mm -hmm. 
and super excited to have you on board with the chamber and very grateful for the energy that you bring to that. What prompted you to join the ambassador program and where are you getting all that positive energy all the time? Cause you're always go, go, go. And I love that about you. Um, well, if we want to do life philosophies later, we could do that. There you go. Oh, how you, how Give how us you just stay a positive. few little, yeah, just a few little tips. <laughs> I think anything in life, you have to lead with gratitude. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm thankful for the opportunities I've been given in life and grateful to be able to provide something like so positive and community focused for, for this community. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think anytime you leave with gratitude, a lot of that other positive nature kind of comes forth. Yeah. Uh, as far as your second question, being an ambassador, I like people. Yeah. So it's nice to welcome new members in, um, be a familiar face at any of our networking events. And um, well, to what you said, you do enjoy connecting with people and mm -hmm. and you, you're looking to find answers for them and, and sure. you know, how you can direct them. That always comes across. And I think that's why everybody always enjoys meeting you. I like to think I'm a connector of people, too. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Um, so if somebody like you're saying comes to me and they have some they want to be. Uh, maybe linked up to a beautiful studio like we're in right now. Right. Like, hey, I know a man Tony at Stone Gate <laughs> Studios. You should talk to him, and I can link them up. Yeah. yeah, check out the wonderful location here. So, tell me about your writers because one of our networking events, you brought one of your writers with you, Seth. Yeah, Seth's awesome. Um, he great ties to the community. I'm like, well, look at how Daniel hooked up with the right guy for this Long Meadow neighbors. He is great. Um, he comes from a television background. He used to be on Mass Appeal, mm -hmm. and he's got a great mind for creating content and really just kind of understands what we're trying to do with, you know, the positivity, the the family community focus, that type of stuff. And he's a great partner. Um, we're always bouncing ideas off of each other. And again, with his television background it's yeah. just these ideas just come out and we're able to kind of ping pong back and forth and create something fun and entertaining for for the residents well and that's important because it's a great publication and it's working but you can't just sit back and say well this is our format and that's it you've always got to be looking for new and exciting ideas creative ways to bring the information forward Sure. I mean, there's an adage in business, right? If you're not growing, you're dying. So yep. <laughs> you always got to be looking ahead. You always got to be growing, uh, coming up with the next idea, the next family we want to feature, the next businesses to partner with, to sponsor in our publications, and we can help them get more business as well. Yeah. So yeah, always, always forward thinking. You got to be right. Right. What is it they say? Like five steps ahead. You should always be planning five steps ahead. I'd probably trip over myself effect. if I was five steps ahead. Maybe two, <laughs> two or three is fine for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever works for you. So what do you see in the future for Longmeadow neighbors? Could there be a Wilbraham neighbor, an East Longmeadow neighbor? I absolutely. think it would be great to be in every town. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, me personally, I'm, I'm nervous about spreading myself too thin, mm -hmm. but I'll use this as a pitch to recruit anyone that's interested in potentially starting a publication in a lot of those towns you were talking about. Mm -hmm. We only got one town of the ERC five. There's yeah, still four others four we can get publications board. in. So <laughs> if anyone's interested in starting one in their town, like you said, Wilbraham, East Long Meadow, et cetera, feel free, to, feel free to reach out. And let's just say that one of our towns said, you know what? I want to get in touch with Daniel and I want to see if we can um, put a publication together. How would they contact you and, and how does that process look as you move forward? Sure. Um, so my website, uh, you can do ridermedia.com, the last name spelled R-E-I-D-E-R, -E or you can even do longmeadowneighbors.com, all goes to the same place. Mm -hmm. And there's a very helpful contact form there. I have my phone number and email all available on the website. Uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, you can find me. You can okay. find everybody these days, right? All right. Simple so, Google search is pretty uh, pretty accurate, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. So let's say, and because the farmer's market here um, in Wilbraham happens right outside the studio, what if like some of the folks in that group or the, or the Wilbraham Welcome Committee, what if they said, hey, how do we engage with him? What are you looking for from them to bring a publication like this to fruition. So because these publications are free to residents, 
they survive off of business sponsorship. Um, and so honestly, if we wanted to do a Wilbraham neighbors, Wilbraham living, however we wanted to call it, um, I, it would be good to have one person focus on that. Another publisher like myself to do Wilbraham. And then usually it takes about 10 to 15 businesses on average to sign up and here we go. We can start a magazine. All right. Well, see, all of that is good to know. So now when I'm out there, I can just um, contact different folks and, hey, how about we get a Wilbraham and a Ludlow and get all of the five towns featured with um, Rider Media? Yeah, so I'm an ambassador for the chamber. You can be yes. a recruiter for Rider Media. It works, right? Yeah, that, that's absolutely. That's the beauty Th of this. There's the synergy. That's the beauty of chamber and, and working with businesses. We're all out here trying to support one another and, and you know, accomplish great things that are good for the community. And this is definitely great for the community. And it's about inspiring that sense of community, right? Yeah. You know, bringing people together, bringing businesses together, and then bringing people and businesses together as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well said. Well, on that note, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us. Usually we end this with having um, our guests tell us how they can reach you, but you already did that. So thank you so, so much. So rewind a little bit to get find that yeah, part. Yes, to the, yes. How, how we get you. Um, thank you so much for joining us. This was such a pleasure. Appreciate you making time. Thank you so much thank for having me. This was a lot of fun. And thank you, Tony and Stonegate Studios. You guys did a great job. Yeah. And um, this was awesome. It I'm, is, If right? you ever want to have me again, hey, part we, two. Make you know? sure. Yep, we need that. So let our guests at home know how wonderful this is. The studio is fabulous. It's a great opportunity for um, our, our viewers at home to join us and share with us their businesses and what it is they're doing. It's a blast. Come on down. Have some fun. <laughs> Be on Grace's show. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to see some of our other podcasts or sign up to be a guest like Daniel, go to our website, erc5.com, and you can sign up there. Thank you so much for joining us.